beautiful morning out here today. It's definitely summertime. You can wake up any time of day or night and go outside in a t-shirt. This is my project for today. Getting this yard mowed, taken care of. Remember uh, a week or two ago I was at home and I showed you the new flamethrower I bought? <laughs> Actually works pretty good. I gotta use it again today though. What I use it for is to burn all the weeds out of this area here. Instead of getting down and pulling out each individual one, I figured I'd be a little bit lazy and just burn them off, right? It worked good, but uh, they came back, so we gotta burn them again. It'll probably be a regular thing that I'll have to do just to keep up with it. This over here was all overgrown though, remember? Look at it now. So it did work. It worked really well. Maybe it'll take a few times because I've heard before that uh, here you can see it coming back here a little bit. I've heard that if you burn it off, it shouldn't grow back. I burned off the grass between the uh, cracks in here and it didn't come back here. So maybe I just didn't uh, you know, get down to the roots on that other stuff because there's so much. So I'm going to mow the lawn, we've got to take care of that. And uh, we also got to bring our terrain into the dealership. Today, uh, the all-wheel drive and ABS and uh, traction control are all on the fritz. And we don't know what's going on with it. Probably just a sensor or something, but we've got an appointment there at 10 a.m. today. we got to bring it in and let the uh, technicians there take a look at it. It's always something. I did share with you a couple of days ago, if you missed that video, you missed that part, about Diesel. We thought he might have a bit of skin cancer. It turns out it was not cancer. So he's doing just fine. He's just old. And getting a little bit, uh, getting a little bit slower. But you're doing just fine, eh, bud? You're going to be 13 years old next month. Oh. Looking great for 13. Unfortunately, I don't have as good of news about Big Frank. He's in his last days. He is very, very old. We don't know exactly how old, but he could be 17. We don't know. But uh, he's struggling, you can see. Having a lot of accidents in the house. You know. He uh, forgets where he is all the time. He's losing his mind a little bit <sighs> from old age, I think. So, no good news for him there. I don't know how much longer he's got left, but it's not much. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. He can't see anymore either. You see this? He can't see me come up to him like this. Frankie. Frankie, all right? You doing all right? So yeah, with him, we're just taking it one day at a time. Come on, buddy. Let's go inside. Let's get everybody inside. We gotta get our son up and fed. And we gotta be at the dealership in about an hour and a half. Go on, buddy. It's okay. You got it. You got it. There you go. turned into the senior center. Well, I got myself all ready to mow the lawn and I forgot to haul away our grass clippings from last week. So I gotta do that now real quick first. We bag our lawn because if I don't, our dogs eat it and then they go back in our house and then they throw it up on our floor. So we have to bag everything and then I have to haul it away to compost. Forgot to do that last time. 
And I know, I'm wearing a very flattering outfit right now. I can't wait for all the comments. And that's okay. Come at me with your best shot. Come on. Throw your best shot at me. I got some extra padding. It won't hurt. Oh, I know, eh? This is my lawn mowing gear. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> it's hot. Uh, it's 27 degrees Celsius right now. One second, one second, 27. 27 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. Celsius is equal to 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 80 Fahrenheit. That doesn't sound as hot now. But that's hot for me. That to a Canadian is like the equivalent of 110 to an American, I think. There's a lot of people out here hauling their compost away. Jeepers, not just me. For those of you wondering, we just haul our compost away here to uh, to the dump. They have a special spot for us and it's free uh, for compost. It's the last I heard. I mean, I'll let you know if that's different. But... This guy didn't want to wait, so he parked his truck back here and walked in. I'll wait for him. I hope they haven't changed. I mean, it's just grass, right? It's grass clippings. It should be free just to drop it off somewhere. If somebody wants compost, I mean, it'd be uh, a favor for them, right? Yeah, it's still free. See, this is grass and leaves only, no bags. Let's see if somebody has already been going in there. Open this up. I had this tied shut here so that it wouldn't open up on me. Gonna stand it upright. Not sure exactly how to do this. Alrighty, that's that. Whew, it is so hot, 80 degrees. How do you guys survive down there in Arizona? I know, it's a dry heat, but what about in Florida? How do you guys survive down in Florida? Jeez, 80 degrees here, I'm just, uh, uh, they forced me to wear clothes. It's a YouTube uh, standard community standard guideline. I have to wear clothes. In my, in my, but otherwise, man, it's hot. It's also I'm in public and it's frowned upon, just being, you know, unclothed all day. I tell you, it's tempting. <laughs> or at least just in boxers, right? Just in shorts. Whew. Okay, man, I want to go jump in a lake. That's what I want to do. I don't want to mow the lawn. I want to go jump in a lake. A freshwater lake with no gators, no snakes. Again, how do you guys live in Florida? You can't even jump in the lake. Gators in the lake, snakes in the lake. Up here it's so nice because there's nothing here that's gonna kill you. Not really anyways, because the cold every winter, right? It gets down to minus 50. It kills off all the poisonous and dangerous things. So that's why I live where the cold hurts my face a lot of the year. But we do get two months of glorious summer that we can fully enjoy by hauling away grass clippings over and over and over. Oh, oh, bumpy bumpy. I need a cold one right now. Okay, and we're back. Let's get this done now. I think I have to empty this yet, right? Yeah, so we'll empty that. We'll quickly finish this backyard. Our boy's napping right now, so I'll be able to finish this backyard, and after he's done napping, I can finish everything else. So, he doesn't wake up if I do the backyard, but if I get too close to the house, then I don't want to risk waking him up.
little bit worried because it does seem that my lines are a little bit veering to the right and they're not completely straight but that might just be my eyes might just be crooked you know we'll have to see what it looks like once i'm done it's incredibly important that you get your lines exactly straight you can't trust just anybody to mow your lawn that's why when my son grows up i gotta make sure i give him special specific training on how you properly cut your lawn you see and now my bag is full when you have the bag full and you got to bring it over to where the compost bin is right over there behind that fence you can't just drag the mower across the middle of the yard that leaves tire tracks right through the middle of all your lines that messes everything up so what you got to do like i did here come to the edge here and then follow the edge of the yard to where you need to go to get rid of your grass clippings so that you don't leave tire tracks through the rest of the yard. Then it is preferential that once your lawn is done, you don't let anybody run around on it for at least an hour so that you can fully enjoy the freshly cut lawn and straight lines. Because once you start running around on it, there's footprints. But you can't get mad at that either because that's the whole point of having a backyard and having a nice freshly cut lawn, right? So that all the kids can run around on it and stuff and have fun but at least for like 30 minutes right i'm going down to 30 minutes already at least 30 minutes nobody goes on the lawn you're allowed on the deck back here to look at the lawn you can look at it it's a sacred thing <laughs> dads get it right i'm a dad now i can say that dads get it and if you're not a dad that's okay men get it let me know down below in the comment section if you get it. Go down there, tell me, leave a comment saying, I get it. They're not straight. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna have to look at this for a week now? Well, good thing I gotta go to work. I don't have to look at it all week. Are my eyes just crooked? I think they're angling to the right just a bit. Look at this, here's the deck, the deck is straight. The deck is straight. Oh, well, actually, you know, they do look kind of straight. Maybe it's just my eyes that are crooked, I don't know. Huh. Well, we got the noisy part done. So if Britt's not sleeping by now, she can fall asleep now son Theo he's also napping I'm out here working so I'm gonna get our whippersnapper we got a new whippersnapper uh, last weekend I went and bought one we needed one badly we used to have a gas powered one oh, what a piece of junk and it's so top heavy and it's so hard to get going all the time so we got an electric one it's got a wireless it's a wireless electric oh it's so much better so much better it also came with a leaf blower along with it in a package so there's that two for one always a good deal well let me know is that straight? I want to show you how Myrtle's doing there, but I don't want to mess up the lines. So I'm going to walk exactly down the center of this one. Okay. So here's Myrtle. She's doing really good. It was a little bit of shock after uh, we planted her. She lost about a third of her leaves. They turned yellow and fell off, but the rest stayed and they started growing, growing new again, especially these lower ones. Tons of new growth, which is fantastic. So the weeping willow, Planted it in late spring, early summer of 2024. Just this year, so that's your Myrtle update. It's doing good. I was a little bit worried at first because I thought that it was going to die. So, welcome to my shed. This is where all the fun stuff is kept. So, we've got this. This is the new weed eater that we got electric powered we have two batteries like this with two 20 volt batteries just throw it on there like that and it's extendable i'm not doing an ad i'm just showing you what i have here it's a works brand i got it at canadian tire maybe they should be paying me to advertise for them there's an idea huh you works people out there 
you owe me. <laughs> so this uh, extends, goes in for short people and it comes out for taller people. It does not have any settings that help for fat people, but uh, this is what we're working with. All jokes aside, this is actually a pretty cool little uh, gadget. This thing here, you push the button on the side, you can move this up and down, right? That there can be, uh, you put your foot on here, and it can actually like move up and down, right? So it's depending on the angle, how tall you are. And it's super quiet, like check this out. Check this out. Look at this. Whoa, look at this. For me, that is super quiet because I'm used to a gas-powered one. Those things are super loud and obnoxious. You gotta mix the fuel with a two-stroke engine. And it would never start. It would always flood on me. I just couldn't get it right. It's actually right over here. It was a weed eater model. Maybe I'll show it to you later, but this has been amazing. We bought this in a package. It also came with uh, this blower. It uses the same battery packs. And it also came with two batteries as well. I forget what I paid for it. Uh, what was it again? Was it like a... I'd have to check my records. A couple hundred bucks. But definitely a game changer and helps me clean up around the edges of the yard. chocolate of my life and I want to give a very special thank you and Dankeschein to Michael Hummel who sent me this all the way from Germany there was some German chocolate inside there and oh you know if I didn't stop myself and put it away right now I could have eaten the whole thing in about 30 seconds I ate half of it I had to put it away otherwise it'd be gone it was so good so Michael thank you very much for sending that to me delicious look how white those feet are sorry I should have warned you to put your shades on first look at that compared to like my arm <laughs> you see that I was reading on on Facebook which never lies and always has the truth in it Facebook that uh, being grounded is very important that walking outside on the earth barefoot can have significant health benefits. Now Facebook would never lie to me. So I figured I'd give it a try. And spend more time this summer actually being barefoot when I can. Obviously when I'm you know, mowing and stuff, I have to be wearing shoes and I don't want to lose my toes, but. So often we, well, I always wear shoes, right? You probably, probably do too. We always wear shoes or inside the house on like artificial flooring that we built and put together. How often, this is a question for you, individual watching me right now, I have a question for you. How often do you actually go like barefoot onto the earth, just raw dogging it like that? No shoes, no rubber between your skin and the ground, just barefoot. If you're anything like me, it's probably almost never. I was reading this article, like, in all seriousness, all jokes aside, I was reading this article uh, this last week, talking about the importance of being grounded. Maybe it was a bit of a hippie article. I'm not really a hippie, can you tell? But uh, maybe it had a point. Uh, it, sounded, it sounded like it had a point. So I figure, why not this summer try to be barefoot as much as I can and you know, see if it helps supposed to be healthy. I don't really have much that I can do right now until everybody wakes up. I got the baby monitor in my pocket right here. Yeah, you probably can't see. I'll have to go in the shade. He's still sleeping. Once he gets up, I'm going to go take care of him so that my wife can sleep a little longer. She's not really feeling tip-top today. 
So I, I told her as soon as he gets up, I'll go get him and I'll watch him until she feels good enough and you know had a good nap and, and get up. Then I'll I'll finish the lawn and everything I got to do. So right now I'm sort of just hanging around, enjoying the weather. My day off on the weekend. I do have some holidays coming up. I'm really excited. Um, from July 25th, which is Britt's birthday. Don't forget to wish her a happy birthday on July 25th. She's uh, turning 23 again. And uh, I have holidays from then until August 7th, which is kind of odd, but we have a rental uh, for our camper. Last year we had our camper listed uh, as, as a rental. We rented it, had it booked out pretty much the whole summer. And uh, at the end of the summer, we had a booking for August long week, like over August long weekend for a week from the Tuesday to the following Tuesday. So from uh, July 30th to August uh, 6th. And we accepted that booking. And then this year we decided, you know, with Theo and now that we have a baby, we don't really have enough time to run this rental business. So we were going to put it on hold for this year. But we wanted to honor our rental that we had promised uh, this family that they could have it for the week in the beginning of August. I didn't want to ruin their family vacation and be like, oh, sorry, it's not available anymore, even though I promised it was. So um, I have to deliver it. Uh, it's going to be at a campground in southern Manitoba. So I'll deliver it there, set it up. They can enjoy it for the week. And during that week, uh, Britt and I, we've rented a boat, a pontoon. We're gonna go get out on the lake with a couple of our friends. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll do some fishing, anchor the boat, jump in. It's gonna be fun. Don't worry, I'll take the camera along. It'll be a lot of fun for all of us. Mostly for us, because we're actually on the boat. Not as much for you, because you're sitting there in your chair watching us, but I hope that it brings you some joy. Uh, and then uh, during that week, we also have a couple of other things to get done, but mostly it's an actual scheduled holiday, which I haven't done in a, a long time. Usually, uh, like I've said in previous videos, I just take advantage of whatever time my truck goes into the shop as my holidays. It's sort of like unscheduled holidays. But for this 2024 summer, I've actually, I have a son now. I I want to do this every year. I do have four weeks of holidays because I've been where I am long enough that I do have four weeks of holidays built up that I can use throughout the year. Like specific holidays, not just like, oh, your truck's in the shop. No, I'm booking this time off to go have fun, not to go spend money on my truck. We're going to park the truck. There's going to be nothing wrong with it, hopefully. <laughs> we're going to park the truck, and we're just going to go get a boat, and we're going to get out on the water and have some fun. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be about a week and a half. So my holidays are from July 25th to August 7th. So uh, in that time, uh, Britt and I have a couple of plans. I'm going to leave you hanging for that because... Uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to show you as it happens. You going to mow the rest? Think you're ready? <laughs> Just out exploring. Whoa! Whoa! What's this? Yeah, another 13 years and this will be your best friend, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he sees the open doors on the shed. I bet you're going to the shed, aren't you? <laughs> Still waiting for Britt to wake up. She's having her, her mama bear nap. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, I saw that door open. I saw you going straight for it. Can you get in there by yourself? Oh, it's got doors on it. Those are fun. Can you lift your leg that high? You can do it, buddy. You don't need my help. Careful, that door's gonna close. <laughs> no, it's a pretty big step. Pretty big step. You think you can do it? Here, let me hold this door open for you. You got it? You need my help? No, you don't. You got this. Come on, you got it. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you got it. Careful coming down. No, you don't need my help. Daddy, get out of here. Yeah, I need you by myself. That's what it's all about there, folks. <laughs> and try again? You 
can do it. You can do it. You got it. Oh, I see what you found. You find a lantern? Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Wow. Where are you going to bring that? Hehehe. <laughs>